So this program demonstrates um, scope of the variables. We have seen um, how to declare variables and for the most part we've declared all our variables inside of main which is where we should be declaring our variables. So what happens if we declare our variables outside? What happens to variables that are declared in functions? So that is essentially the scope of the variable says how or where our variables are defined and what are the limits essentially. So for example this variable that's declared outside of main is said to be at file scope or global. Global means if it's outside of main and before main everything after its declaration can use that X. Meaning that X can be used throughout the program. Anybody can go use that X and change it and modify it and do whatever they want to with it. Now here is another X. This X is inside of main. So that's called a local variable. So this is my local X. And it can be seen only in main. So here is my X. This X is 0. Here is a local X. Notice it starts out being X equals 0. Then we initialize it. Um, then we put a value in it, which is 10. Then we output it saying x before call to do it is my function. So let's take a look at function here. The function has another variable x and we essentially assign a value of 20 to that x. And we're not doing anything. We are simply assigning a value of 20 inside the function. We are not returning it. We are not doing anything with that x. So this x is local, local to the function. So x is local to the function here. So if we build this code and run it, what do we expect it to output? The only cout statement that we have here is in main, which says x equals 10, output x before function call, output x after function call. And there's a value of x that gets output. So let's run it and notice it says x before call to do it function is 10, x after call is still 10. So there's no difference because the function does not return the x. It has nothing to do with once it comes back to main, this x inside of the function is lost. Now also we said this x is global, the x that's sitting outside, but that's not what we are printing. So local variable always has first preference. So if we didn't have an x here, for example, and if we had a y, we change that x to a y. And let's also change this x to a y. But here, let's still print x. So which x is it printing now? Let's take a look. It should, if it prints 0, let's go back here, and it says x before call is 0, x after call is 0. So now we are looking at our global x because there is no other x in main. Since there's no other x in main, the only x it can find is the x that is outside of main. So the global variable takes preference at that point in time. So when you have a local variable, the local variable always gets its first preference. If there is no local variable, then our global variable takes over. Now a couple of other things to consider. Um, here is an empty block. Notice it's just a block because of its curly brackets. Now, can I put something inside my empty block? Yes. Let's say I have a variable here called x, which is 20. And I'm going to say C out x inside block equals x. And I'm going to print that x. So I have an x inside my block. Now I'm going to come here outside of that block and try to print x. Let's take one of these statements and put it over here outside of my block and say x after the block. Now which x is it going to print inside the block and which x is it going to print after the block. So inside the block, notice again we said local gets preference. So x equals 20. This 
x is only local is only local to that block it works on only inside that block when we come out here this x inside the block is no longer valid so which x is it that it's going to print inside and outside let's take a look notice we have quite a few statements here x before called to do it is zero that is our global x x after call to do it is zero that is still our global x now inside the block we declared a new x so x inside the block is 20 outside the block x goes back to being zero so we have lost the scope of this x inside the block the minute we come outside of that block so you need to be careful as to how you declare your blocks and if you really need to have curly brackets so just putting curly bracket is not insignificant is it has its own significance it creates its own block and declares variable if you declare a variable in there it is valid only for that particular block the same way for loops you can declare variables for certain for loops so you could say for in i equals zero i less than five i plus plus my for loop is going to do something I'm not sure what it's going to do doesn't have to do anything right now but it's going to do something now if i come out and try to print that i what's going to happen it says i don't like it it says identifier i is undefined so it is not liking it because this i since it's declared inside of the for loop is valid only for that for loop and we cannot use it once we come outside so the scope of the variable is very important for you to understand where the variables are valid and how they have their limits